Well, it's time for Mayor Monday. We're headed to Columbia County to check in with a small town and a big community feel. That would be the city of Scappoose, which sits along Highway 30 just northwest of Portland. And joining us live with some updates for his community, Mayor of Scappoose, Joe Backus. Good morning, sir. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Ken and Emily. Appreciate it. Well, let's talk about your 50 year uh, plan. Uh, the city's been working on this for a while. Uh, tell me what you're looking forward to coming out of this plan. Yeah, thank you. Um, I've been mayor for about a year. And before I became mayor, the city council decided and made it a goal to have a long range look at growth in order to plan for smart growth. Uh, it prompted the city to develop a 50 year plan. Uh, the main components of the plan is a community-wide visioning process, uh, followed by an updated economic opportunities analysis and a housing capacity analysis. Uh, it will provide us the data we need to determine if a UGB expansion is warranted to meet the 20-year land need. Uh, this plan should be completed by the end of the year. Um, in addition to the 20-year look uh, for land needs, we're extending that out to a 50-year horizon to look at potential establishing urban reserves, which is land that we can bring into the UGB to accommodate growth over the next 50 years. Uh, we did do an UGB expansion a few years ago that brought approximately 400 acres of industrial land into the UGB. And most of that land is ready, uh, shovel ready and ready to bring businesses to Scapoose. So as that starts to be developed, this plan should help with housing land needs. Uh, and it will allow us to understand where likely to grow over the next 50 years, which will help us inform us of any infrastructure uh, needs for the future. Yeah, that's interesting. It'll be interesting to see what uh, what the plan, what the projections look like for 50 years from now. But of course, to your point on infrastructure with that growth, uh, it comes all kinds of things that have to support that. So let's talk a little bit about what the city's public works has been working hard on right now. Yeah, with the support from Senator Betsy Johnson, we were very fortunate to receive several, uh, receive several million dollars in ARPA funds right after COVID. And this is allowing us to invest heavily into infrastructure projects that will help us with future needs before aging systems break down and to help meet our city's needs as we continue to grow. Uh, for example, technology, uh, we're embracing new technologies. One example, uh, we have new ultrasonic water meters uh, built in leak protection throughout the city uh, addresses both water loss and missed revenue opportunities. Uh, like you said, Public Works is working on several major infrastructure projects for both the water and wastewater treatment departments. Uh, they're mostly being funded by the ARPA monies. Uh, we're doing substantial upgrades to our wastewater treatment plant, including a state-of-the-art new biosolids dryer. It utilizes technology not yet used anywhere else in Oregon. Uh, and the water department is um, in the construction of a 3 million gallon water reserve uh, reservoir and construction of two new water wells. Um, yeah, yeah let's go, oh, go ahead. ahead. Yeah. Uh, one of the biggest concerns we have here, we hear from citizens is safety on our roads. Um, we, like you said, we have Highway 30 and a rail line running right through the middle of town and our schools are right off of that highway. Uh, so the city of Scabuse has put effort into proving pedestrian safety uh, by making improvements to sidewalks and crossings. We recently passed a local fuel tax uh, that funds in, uh, sidewalk improvements. And with the help of ODOT in Columbia County, we recently completed a, a study of improvement for safe routes to school um, so we're really making strides to safer streets. Mm. Yeah, and it sounds like you're really looking towards the future now. Uh, what has been the trend in Scapoose in terms of uh, population? Are people moving into the area? Are you getting more inquiries from people who uh, would perhaps like to look for a place in Scapoose? Yeah, you know, I, I really love Scapoose. Um, I really appreciate the opportunity to Scapoose uh, with others, share it with others. Uh, so yeah, if you're looking for a safe place to live and raise a family with good schools, I really uh, invite you to look into Scapoose. Uh, while Scapoose has grown from about 3,000 people in 1978 when I moved here to over 8,000 people now, it still feels like a safe, small, quaint town to me. And um, we want to keep it that way as we continue to grow. So it's important we do work hard and be forward thinking to ensure that smart growth. Mm -hmm. Well, right now uh, you've got a search underway for a new city manager. How is that going? Well, we're just beginning it. We just recently lost our city manager to Oregon City. So um, we'll be starting the process of finding a new leader that's a good fit. We do have an interim city manager starting in about a week. 
Um, so that process is going to take, you know, five to six months potentially. Um, fortunately, we have some very experienced and quality department heads that will help keep the city of Scappoose uh, running smoothly. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Scappoose Mayor Joe Backus. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we appreciate the update on what's happening. Appreciate it. Thank you. And to stay up to date on what is happening in cities across our area, check out our previous Mayor Monday segments on coin.com. Just click on the AM Extra tab. It is.